110 floors, 2,071 steps. That's what each of the twin towers at the World Trade Center were comprised of before the attacks on 9-11 destroyed not only them, but 3,000 lives. And that's something we just can't forget. So that's why we're doing the 9-11 Never Forgotten Tower Challenge here at Arizona Stadium. How heavy is this outfit you're wearing? Uh, this particular one's probably about 85 pounds. How do you feel about leading the pack here today? Are you going to be in front the whole time? I'm going to try. Yeah, I'll try my best, but I think it's a, a, a great privilege. Um, being selected to lead everybody here because everybody here wants to push themselves to remember and push themselves to try something hard. Um, it's always great to be asked to lead a group of individuals like that. about the sacrifice that those 343 first responders made on that day? You cannot thank them enough. Those guys and the gals and the parents and the siblings and the children. Why are you here today? I'm here to recognize the sacrifice on 9-11. I have two pictures of one of my childhood friends, Sergeant John Coughlin, ESU unit, they were the first unit to respond to Tower 1 when it was hit by the plane. My other childhood friend, he graduated a year or two below me in high school, Johnny Catazzo, is a Port Authority officer. And unfortunately, after 9-11, a few short years, he passed because of conditions at Ground Zero. So we started this event to honor the fallen from 9-11, and it's an event that part is participated by um, police, fire, EMS, first responder community and the military, both active, reserved, and retired. So it's, it's, and then we allow people that support them, family members, things like that. So we got a really good turnout. In fact, we're pretty sure it's the largest event of its kind in the country that incorporates both first responder community and the military. But the, the purpose of this whole thing is to remember the fallen on 9-11 and also all those in the military that have carried the, the fight to our enemy. did this back on the 10th anniversary, we only had about 100 participants. It's obviously grown in size, it's grown in notoriety and, and a lot of support. But the biggest thing is it gets our, our community thinking about 9-11 again. We get a lot of people that reach out and just want to donate or just want to, hey, what can we do? What can we um, do for our community to help? It's hard, but everybody loves it. And most of the people that participate are hooked and they come back year after year after year. What an incredibly humbling experience this was for me to meet all these individuals honoring those who gave the ultimate sacrifice 17 years ago on 9-11. If you would like to do your part and get involved and donate, etc., 9-11 TowerChallengeFoundation.org is the website where you should go. You can find all sorts of information there on how you can do your part. So in the meantime, here at Arizona Stadium, the Morning Blend will be right back. <laughs>